Today we are in Bangkok, Thailand, where Huawei are showcasing their latest solutions for digital transformation. Join us to see how cloud computing together with AI is changing the world we live in. Right, so we're here in the main exhibition hall of Huawei Connect 2022. Now a lot of you think that Huawei is a Chinese company and although it does have its roots in China, it is in fact a global company doing business in places like South Africa, the Middle East, here in Thailand, Southeast Asia, as well as China itself. And also most of you know Huawei for their consumer devices, particularly phone handsets and 5G, which is what they're in the news a lot for. However, Huawei have a huge part of their business, which is the enterprise part, cloud computing, solutions for businesses, and it's all part of a digital transformation. And that's what we're going to explore today at this exhibition. We're going to show you in not so technical terms some of the things they've got, some of the technology they're implementing to make companies more into the digital age. As you can see from some of the booths behind me, Huawei are into a massive, diverse range of different industries. And they bring in digital transformation to industries like transportation, finance, energy, public services. It's just almost endless. And they also have a huge cloud computing business as well. The first one we're gonna take a look at is how they're transforming regular maintenance in the energy industry. So Huawei have a lot of solutions for the energy industry. And one of particular interest is the inspection and maintenance of the electricity distribution system with, with the pylons. Now previously, these used to have to be inspected manually, but Huawei have a solution now where there's cameras mounted on the pylons or they use drones and take 360 degree footage in very high resolution, often eight or 16K. Those images um, are then uploaded in real time to the Huawei cloud. And they then compare those images from the components on the pylons to uh, known good images in the database. And this can then identify whether there's any problems or damage to any of the equipment on the pylons, for, for example, the insulators or the, the structure, um, if there's any cracks appearing or any issues at all. And this is not only far, far safer because people don't have to climb the pylons, but it also makes it much, much more efficient. So we've been looking around the exhibition, we've come across this and it's Huawei's cloud digital employee, Sarah. And this is really the future of what's to come. And uh, so I'm just gonna give you a bit of a demonstration. Hi, Sarah, how old are you? I'm 26 years old. You're 26 years old, that's it, you yes. look younger. Yes, younger and beautiful. And uh, where do you live? Bangkok. You live in Bangkok? Oh, Bangkok's a great city. Yes. How about you? Which area do you live in Bangkok? Which area? Um, yes. Uh, near ASOC. Ah, so. And can I ask you, um, what do you do at Huawei? What's your job? I am AI. Sarah AI. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. You love me? Yeah. Wow, I found a new girlfriend, huh? <laughs> All right, take care, bye-bye. <laughs> so just a little talk to Sarah. It's obviously that in the future, there's going to be the opportunity to have a digital girlfriend, which could have a lot of advantages. That digital assistant was really good. She'd really got a female type personality. But a lot of you may be asking, 
What are the real world examples where this can be used? Well, it's already been deployed in hospitals in China. One for navigation as a virtual receptionist, and two, it was also used during COVID to lessen the exposure of patients to nurses. So that we're becoming digital nurses answering many people's questions about COVID. <laughs>
They're enabling enterprises all around the world into digitalization, improving efficiency and profitability. And that can only be a good thing. Anyway, I do hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider giving a channel a subscribe. But as always, for now, take care.